John here. I recently uh, purchased this rifle. It's a Remington 7400. I got it off a friend. And it's got a couple of deep uh, dings in the stock. Right here uh, where your thumb goes. So I was thinking I would steam them out. I've already steamed them once. Uh, and then I steamed them again for two times. Now I'm going to do uh, three times. Which should be all that's required. And I figured I'd uh, show everybody how I do it at least. And I guess everybody does it about the same. You get your rag wet enough that, that you could squeeze it and get water out of it. But not sopping wet. And uh, I like to fold it over about four to six times. I don't know if you can see them dings or not. But they're almost level with the uh, surface that they should be. So you just put your rag over it and get your iron on about three quarters heat. John here. I recently uh, purchased this rifle. It's a Remington 7400. I got it off a friend. And it's got a couple of deep uh, dings in the stock. Right here uh, where your thumb goes. So, I was thinking I would steam them out. I've already steamed them once. Uh, and then I steamed them again for two times. Now I'm going to do uh, three times. Which should be all that's required. And I figured I'd uh, show everybody how I do it at least. And I guess everybody does it about the same. You get your rag wet enough that, that you could squeeze it and get water out of it. But not sopping wet. And, uh... I like to fold it over about four to six times. I don't know if you can see them dings or not. But they're almost level with the uh, surface that they should be. So you just put your rag over it and get your iron on about three quarters heat. You steam it. See the steam coming out. And then... You want to make sure that your iron doesn't touch the finish because it'll melt the finish. Make sure the iron doesn't touch you either. But you just steam it real good like this. I'll kind of keep the rag moving so that way the that way the rag doesn't get too hot and start melting the finish. That's pretty decent quite a bit better than it was I'm probably probably got that about as high as I can get it it uh, if the finish wasn't on there those dinks would be flush with the wood surface so if I try to uh, raise them anymore I'm trying to raise them actually higher than they should be to fill the cavity that the uh, finish has been removed on so probably what I'll do is I'll take a little lacquer or, um, well this is polyurethane, but I'll take anything and just dab right in there and raise the finish and try to get it, uh, try to get the finish to be flush right there where your hand gets it. Now that I have the wood flush. So you can see those are raised up out of there. They were, uh, oh I don't know, probably 3.30 seconds deep. So, figured I'd just let y'all see uh, a little bit of the tricks I use. So, this is John signing off.